y'all it's your girl Sonia welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my family and if you're a returning family member welcome back y'all know I love when y'all come to visit y'all I am partaking in yet another one big happy family friendsgiving collab and this year I decided to make something well every year but I wanted to make something that's really simple very little ingredients and anybody can do it so we will be doing a corn pudding casserole, depending on where you're from. It could be corn pudding or it could be corn casserole, but we're doing a corn pudding casserole, y'all, okay? All you need is a can of um, of whole kernel corn, and it could be any brand. It don't got to be name brand. It could be like Walmart, Publix, whatever you got. A can of cream style corn. Oops, I almost broke my eggs, y'all. Two eggs. That's it, just two eggs. If y'all can't find no eggs, I don't know what to tell you. They high as hell, I don't know. Eight ounces of sour cream. A box of Jiffy Mix. And one stick of melted butter. Now, I like my corn pudding just a tad bit sweet, so I'm gonna put a pinch of sugar in it. I mean, yeah, a pinch of sugar, that's it. Ain't gonna be no whole lot of sugar, but we're gonna put a pinch in there, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour my cornbread um mixture in here because i kind of want to break up some of them lumps a little piece because y'all know i don't know what's going on with jiffy these days but they cornbread show sure been lumping i don't like it so i'm just gonna take my spatula a little piece and go on and get some of these here lumps out i probably won't be able to get all of them out but i'm gonna get enough of them out to go on and do what i need to do and not my stuff not be lumpy All right, let's see. I reckon that might be enough lumps. Y'all do not beat this lumpy like this, okay? Because if you do, you're going to have some lumpy corn pudding. And it ain't going to be because of the corn. It's going to be because the, the mixture is too lumpy when you start out. So, just try to get some of those lumps out. The little ones, they all right. You'll kind of get those beat in. But if you got them big old lumps, go and try to get them out. It ain't going to take but a minute. And I'm doing this with a spatula. Feel free to do this with a whisk, okay? I just didn't feel like playing with no whisk today. So, that ain't what we're doing. So, we got most of them lumps out. We gonna go on and move on to the cream corn here. Make sure y'all get all that, that creamy goodness out that there can. And like I say, this is a real, I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Let me take that up out of there. All right. This is a real simple uh, recipe, y'all. It literally takes just a few minutes <clears throat> to get it going. I'm gonna go on and put my whole corn in there now. Make sure you get all that corn up out of there. And just mix that in real good. When you finish putting that in, you should have something that look like this here, okay? Now we're going to add our eggs. And you can beat the eggs and put them in there if you want to, but who about to waste all them dishes? That's my oven, y'all. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. Make sure you do that prior 
so you make sure I ain't waiting to go in the oven. And just get that egg beat in there real good. And it's gonna be a real wet batter, y'all. Don't worry about it. Okay, it's gonna firm up nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my one stick of melted butter. Go ahead and put it on in there. Just mix that in real careful because you don't want to slosh butter all over the kitchen. But it's going to take a minute to incorporate, but it'll get there. All right, we got that incorporated. We're gonna go ahead and put the sour cream in there. This is eight ounces of sour cream. And I know y'all thinking, for y'all that don't like sour cream, ew, why she putting sour cream in there? Don't worry about it, just do what I say, okay? Trust me on it and thank me later. It's going to give it a creaminess and a real good flavor. Just thank me later. Because I know somebody going to come for me in the comments. Why did you put sour cream in that? Because my grandmama told me to. And your batter gonna be a little off, like a little light pale yellow. That's what you want. All right, now, cause I ain't prepared, I'm getting me a pint of sugar. Set a pinch. We're gonna put about a teaspoon of sugar in that for a little more flavor. Now, I know people they like to put nutmeg and vanilla and all that in there. They like to put onion and bell pepper. Listen. If that's what you want to do, that's on you, but it really does not need it, okay? This is a delicious dish with just the basic ingredients that I just put in this bowl. So if y'all want to add all them extras, that's fine, but it don't need it. <clears throat> so this, that's it, y'all. That's the whole dish, okay? So I have... A 9 by 13 pan. I don't know if y'all can see it. I reckon y'all can. And I'm just going to pour this in there. Um, make sure you have some type of butter or spray. I'm from the country. I use good old butter. I went all around the sides and on the inside. So you can use that non cooking spray if you want to. That's on you. But I use butter. Butter makes everything better. Okay. So we just going to pour this in here. You get all that goodness. And 
And like I told y'all, it's going to be a real wet battle. That's okay. That's what we want. We want it to be wet when it go in, okay? Don't say nothing about that comment. Just don't worry about it. But make sure it's spread out evenly. And that's it, y'all. I'm going to put this in my oven for about 40, 45 minutes. It depends on your oven. Some days my oven is 40. Some days it's 45. So I'm going to start checking it at 40. If it's the texture that I like, then I'll pull it. And I will be back to show y'all the end result. Okay, y'all, I am back. I have got my corn pudding casserole out of the oven. It is still warm, but this is how it came out, y'all. And it's still a little, it's not soft. It's got a little bounce to it, but that's what you want. You don't want it too firm like regular cornbread. You want it to have a little, little spring back so it can be a little, a little moist on the inside so we're gonna go on and don't ask me why i got this spoon mind y'all business here yeah. see how soft that is that's what you want right there that's what you want right there y'all see how moist that look that's what you want let me just get a little bit more and put up on here that's what you want. You want it to be moist, just like that there, okay? So when y'all make this, don't be uh keeping it in the oven too long because it ain't firm enough. No, sit it out for a little while. It'll get firm, and it'll be just like this, nice and creamy, okay? So, y'all, that's it. That's all I got, y'all, okay? That's all I got for y'all. I just wanted to come and share my little recipe with y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Again, make sure you check out the One Big Happy Family Friendsgiving collab. The people that are before and after me, make sure you go and check everybody out. All of their links will be in my description below. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you try it, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Share my video, give me thumbs up, leave me comments down below. Let me know if you're gonna try this bomb recipe that I just gave to y'all today. And until my next video, I'll see y'all later.